And we want to go back to our story about Jackson, Mississippi. We've been able to reestablish the line with Mississippi State Representative Ronnie Crudup Jr. Uh, Ronnie, um, the National Guard has been deployed to help with things like the distribution of water. Jackson's mayor emailed the governor uh, that was leaked. He asked for uh, um, almost $50 million in emergency funding. Is the money there to back up the need? Yes, the state legislature has the money uh, from the rainy day fund and other funds that are sitting there. Uh, we need about $50 million to be able to weatherize our water, tra water treatment facility. And so, uh, like you mentioned earlier, uh, we've never had a hard freeze of this magnitude before, five straight days going into six, and our infrastructure just cannot handle it. Our water treatment facility completely just shut down, and so we need that to be able to, uh, you know, happen so this don't happen again. You know, I remember traveling to uh, Flint, Michigan myself, and one of the local activists there telling me uh, that this would have never happened in an area that wasn't uh, predominantly minority. Uh, do you agree with that for Jackson? Well, I think more would have possibly got done uh, in some of the surrounding communities. You know, Jackson is 85% African American. I do think it has to do a lot with economics because Jackson is an older city. A lot of our um, businesses and revenue has left the city, and uh, a lot of our businesses have left to those surrounding communities. So I believe more noise would have probably been made, but also more things been done when it comes to the legislature on that state. Yeah, Carrie Lee Merritt, a, a white historian, has called this a moral and ethical tragedy, uh, an indictment of the entire country. Those are her words. Uh, right now, the people of Jackson are, are paying the price for this. Will anybody be held accountable for what appears to be an epic failure of services? Well, I'm not sure about who's going to be held accountable. Uh, I do know this is something we've been dealing with for a number of years, and we've kind of been kicking the you know, bucket for a long time. And so I think the mayor and the governor, everybody sees that this is very serious now. I mean, we've had boil water notices, we've had outages, but nothing to this magnitude where it's almost three weeks to a month that people didn't have running water. And so I think people are really taking it serious. Uh, we got some money from the CARES Act that's coming in from the Jackson, Mississippi, but we need the state to step in too to help make some of those repairs because Jackson is the state capital. And so Jackson needs to kind of, the state needs to step up to try to help with our infrastructure needs. There is, of course, something quite beautiful happening that often does happen, which is the community uh, really stepping up here. Uh, can you tell us about some of that? Yeah, a number of organizations, churches, um, even a lot of uh, local politicians, you know, local, state level, they've been really stepping up. Uh, people right now still need fresh water, so we have water coming in all over the place from the Gulf Coast, uh, even from Texas, who's been dealing with this themselves. Uh, people that have been sending water in, volunteering, bringing food, and trying to find ways that can help support the community. Because we've had, you know, a lot of situations where people have been, you know, having to pay for hotel fees, um, you know, taking out, getting food every day because they couldn't wash dishes, couldn't wash clothes. So a number of organizations have been really stepping up to make sure that people are taken care of. Ronnie Crudup, Jr., Mississippi State Representative, thank you for your time. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you.